The next thing I do is I uh, take a piece of scrap wood, drill the one eighth hole through it, stuck the drill down in there on my uh, disc sander to sand off the edges and make it nice and round. <laughs> we have our circular blanks cut out next thing to do is put the miter gauge on the saw and from 90 degrees you can use any angle you want uh, a lot of people will set it to 45 degrees although it's been showing that uh, the most efficient angle is about 35 degrees so we'll set it at 35 degrees. Uh, and get ready to uh, cut the slots. But first we have to make a little jig for that. To make the jig, took a piece of scrap wood, drilled a 1 8 hole, and then I drew a line down. So that when I put this on, have just a very slight clearance there. Okay, then we'll uh, attach the jig to the miter gauge. Now I want my slots to be 3 16 of an inch or as close as I can get it. Uh, I don't know if you could see this on the video. But I've installed two saw blades next to each other, which should give me uh, just about 3 16 of an inch cut. Now to set up the gauge, what we want to do, since our blank is 3 quarter inch stock, we want to take half of that, which is 3 8 We want to measure perpendicular from this line to the center of the blade three eighths of an inch or half the thickness of the of the hub once we get that three eighths of an inch set then we clamp this piece of stock to the miter gauge Then we can bring this back and put the disc on. Oop, wrong way. We'll put the disc on. Now we want this line to be pointing straight up and down. We'll take our square, put it on that line, so it's straight up and down, and then we'll take a clamp, and we'll clamp that wheel 
to the jig. The next thing we'll do is we'll set the height of our blade, the depth that we want to cut it, which uh, I'm going to set it to uh, one half inch. Now the next thing uh, we can do is we can cut the first slot. Release the clamp and we'll turn it to the next slot. Set that line there perpendicular to the table and clamp her down. Okay, now we'll repeat that process until all the slots are cut. Once we get all the slots cut, we can uh, remove the hub from the jig. And there it is. You'll notice that uh, where your line is, should pass right through the center of the cut on each of these. Okay, and my slots are 180,000. Close enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the uh, blades I'm going to rip them to that thickness so they'll just fit in there. Uh, that concludes the uh, making of the hub video. I hope you like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.